Here we want to find all six trigonometric ratios defined by angle A of a right triangle ABC where C is 90 degrees, B is 7, and C is 8 units. All right, so let's begin by drawing a little picture. Certainly not drawn to scale. Let's label these angles as A, B, and C. Now in the problem, C is given to be a right angle, right? There's my 90 degrees. B is the length of the side opposite of the angle B, so we'll label that as a 7 right there. And little c is the length of the side opposite of angle C, so we'll put an 8 there. Now to get our 6 ratios, we're going to need to find this value here, A. We can do that using the Pythagorean theorem. In other words, a squared plus 7 squared has to equal 8 squared. Leg squared plus leg squared has to equal the hypotenuse squared. Now solving for a, we could see a squared plus 49 equals 64. a squared equals 15. Taking the square root, we get plus or minus the square root of 15 and We'll choose the positive square root, since this is a sort of a geometry problem. All right, so now we know the length of side A is the square root of 15 units. Now with that, we can answer the question and get all six trigonometric ratios. All right, so sine of A is defined to be the length of, si the, length of the side opposite of angle A, divided by the hypotenuse. So opposite over hypotenuse, we have square root of 15 over 8. Now cosine of angle A is defined to be the length of the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So in this case, 7 eighths. And then tangent of angle A is defined to be the side, the length of the side opposite of A divided by the length of the side adjacent to A. So opposite over adjacent, we have square root of 15 over 7. Now the other three are just the reciprocals. So cotangent of A is equal to 7 over square root of 15. Um, the reciprocal of cosine is secant. So secant of A is 8 over 7. And cosecant, reciprocal of sine, is going to be 8 over square root of 15. Now those are the six trigonometric ratios. I'm not going to rationalize these. Well, I changed my mind. I will rationalize. So multiplying numerator and denominator by square root of 15, in this particular case we get... 8 square root of 15 over 15. So you can see there's no radical in the denominator. Now we can do that as well for the cotangent here, multiplying numerator and denominator by square root of 15. We get 7 square root of 15 over 15. Now you might want to ask your instructor if you can leave the answers unrationalized or if you have to rationalize. Some instructors do allow you to leave it um, unrationalized. 